is that people who sang the international went in 1936 to Spain and many have given their lives. A tragedy is that the people who were in power in Russia, in the Soviet Union, were not worthy of the cause that people gave their lives to. I know that it's almost a mission impossible to try to uh, teach younger people all over the world something about a time that workers all over the world really believed that they could stretch out their hands to one another and work together for a better world. time I heard it, I was thinking to myself, this is kind of corny. We have a, a group song, you know, that's, that's the first thing that went through my mind. Um, second time I heard it, I, I heard the words and understood what was going on and what the thoughts were. And now when I hear it, I have 50 different images that run through my mind. I may be thinking about the Abraham Lincoln brigades uh, fighting fascists in Spain. I may be thinking about um, the people in Chiapas. I may be thinking about people in Virginia or elsewhere that are fighting for justice. That song, you know, gave them strength. It gave them a feeling of being connected with generations before them and with their brothers and sisters in, in other countries. I don't think any students who sing the International on Tiananmen Square uh, were thinking about communism or socialism. I think we're singing international to reassure ourselves, to feel that we're part of a greater, larger, propitial human movement towards perfection. I never paid much attention to the word of international, but the melody of the song always calls me into a very special mood. And for a long time, I was thinking what it is. And I think I, I sort of know it now. I think this captures the essence of the traditional Chinese thought, which is Confucianism, and their convictions of fighting for what you believed in. And if necessary, they also need to sacrifice themselves. And their sacrifice will be rewarded in history. Walls of hatred, no walls of stone. Come greet the dawn and stand beside us. We'll live together or we'll die alone. In our I came to write a new version of the International after being encouraged by Pete Seeger at the Vancouver Folk Festival. This was uh, in 1989, just after the uh, Tiananmen Square um, episode. And, um, we were all aware that the, the Chinese students had sang the International in Tiananmen Square, and that's why he wanted to sing it at the, the uh, folk festival. So I said, well, I'd love to come and sing with the people. I know the British lyrics, which are different, and also they're very archaic to sing. I mean, it is an old song. It's a very old song, but it's picked up a lot of baggage on the way you know, the baggage of state communism. But I, I have argued with people that it's the baggage that we need to get rid of and not the actual spirit of the song itself. So with this idea, I, I wrote a few more verses. Stand up, all victims of oppression, for the tyrants fear your might. Don't cling so hard to your possessions, for you have nothing if you have no rights. 
rights. Let racist ignorance be ended. I think we're at a time in now in our politics where we in a, an interesting position where it's down to this generation to redefine what socialism and what communism means in a post-Marxist sense. And I think re-evaluating the old culture is important. And when we find something that still has meaning as a almost as an icon, the international, I think it's a good time to to perhaps take it away from being an icon and, and put some new lyrics on it and see see if it if it can translate into the into the 21st century has to do is look around the world today at, at an economy that is in crisis everywhere in the world uh, to know that those struggles haven't stopped, that the shape of those struggles uh, continues as a, as a fierce struggle uh, for justice. And as long as that struggle is there, and it will be there, uh, the, the dream of a world in which uh, man's exploitation of man will end when the inhumanity of humans to humans will, will cease, when oppression will disappear, is the strongest dream. And unless one dreams beautiful dreams, one lives a very dismal life. But that there will someday be again a movement throughout the world that stands up and says, we are for a world in which the exploitation of human beings can no longer take place. That dream, I am sure, will be revived and relived. And if there's a world here a hundred years from now, I'm not sure there will be. If there's a world here, this song will be part of that world. And the Socialist dreams of making one world out of many peoples in some way will have to come to pass. When we fight, when we fight.